The rolling hills of Tuscany is the backdrop for round five of the European Le Mans series. The first time ever that an ACO Rules Championship has visited this part of the country. Much anticipated, therefore. And again, qualifying in four doses. LM GT3, first of all. The Astons look very strong this weekend. Martin Berry in his grid motorsport by TF Car, third fastest. Sarah Bovey, having already completed three pole positions this season, looking to make it four from five, but just missing out by a very slim margin in the Iron Dames Porsche to this car, another Aston Martin Vantage, and it all seems to be from the third sector that the big British cars are the quickest. So Derek De Boer, the American driver, yet to get a pole in 2024, even though this team, number 59, lead the championship. And it really did mean, mean quite a lot to him, how emotional he was, and a nice touch there that Sarah Bovey was straight over to congratulate. Onward we would go into LMP3 qualifying and this a busy session as well, although slightly less busy than the GT category. Kai Aski was given the responsibility of qualifying the inter Europol competition car. He bagged third place. A slightly bizarre session for Wyatt Brickercheck. Actually couldn't get the car back to pit lane. It broke down on the slowing down lap, but he'd already done his time and that was second fastest for the DKR Duquesne. But it's another pole position since Barcelona at the start of the year. Manuelo Espirito Santo had been waiting for his chance to get pole for a second opportunity. And it was a convincing one for cool racing, crossing the line and doing the business to start in front in those baby prototypes. And this is what it means to the cool racing crew. LMP2 is two layered, remember, in the European Le Mans series with Pro Ams heading out first and a bronze only session, just as it was in the GTs. John Faub, the Texan driver for Nielsen Racing, setting the third fastest time. Then uh, the man who was on pole last time out in Spa Francorchamps, Rodrigo Sales, in his 29 car, came very, very close as well, but just pipped to the post by Giorgio Roda, whose record of setting pole positions was slightly derailed in Belgium. He taken poles in Barcelona and Le Castellet and Imola and now back again for a second home race of the season. The 77 crew from Proton and more importantly Giorgio Roda doing the business and uh, receiving warm applause as he gets back to pit lane. Then the real excitement began. Unfortunately this would be a session that was eventually stopped and then on the restart who wanted to risk race tyres that have to be utilised tomorrow in the four-hour race? Alex Lynn set the pace. He managed third position by the end of it. Charles Milesi, who's been a real star all year in the 65 Panis crew, out for second position, already with a pole position early part of the year. And Olivier Panis was very, very happy with that performance, but it wasn't quite enough for a car that has come totally out of left field, only eight points in the championship so far, but Iron Lynx Proton and perhaps some home advantage for Matteo Cairoli gets their first pole position of the year, making it five different teams from five qualifying sessions in 2024. That's quite some record. Who's going to win tomorrow?